That's what I think about it every year. When I was a little kid, my mum used to read me a book called The Folk of the Faraway Tree by Enie Blyton. Yeah. And then people would climb up this tree and every week a different cloud would be at the top of it. Yeah. And in that cloud there was a whole world. Yeah. Then that cloud would blow away and another cloud would come yeah. with an entirely different world yeah. in it. And, I, and you could never see that world again. It would yeah. be gone. Yeah. And like, that is what the fringe is. I mean, you, you can't explain to people. It really so is. when you read a, a, a journalist doing an overview of it, have they seen? If they did, they see a show a day, thirty shows. Did they see two shows a day, sixty shows? Even if they saw a hundred, it's not even one percent of what yeah. was on. And yeah, so you can never crazy, get right? to the bottom of it. And to know that those things will pass and not come back, I think is incredibly thrilling in a world where we live now, which is full of everything's documented and cross-platformed and multi-format. Yeah, and, yeah. and the idea that things will be gone. It makes is, it all that know, more v- valuable. Oh, yeah. The it's, thing that really struck me was. There was a show last year, there's a guy called uh, uh, Rob Alton, and I went right, to see right. his show, The Sky Show, and it was in the Free Fringe, and I chose to go and see it again, and that, in a way, just blew my mind, because there's, there's yeah. so many options of things yeah. to see, so yeah. it made it all the more valuable, rather than if it's a DVD and you you watch it a million times, yeah. it doesn't mean anything, it was that thing of, right, I could be seeing hundreds of other things, yeah. but I got such a beautiful feeling from that experience, I mm. want to go and experience I, it again. Yeah, I've done that with two shows in Edinburgh over the years, one was... Uh um, the, the show Will Adamsdale won a period with Jackson's Way, yeah. which had a lot of improvisation in it. And yeah. was, and another one was a Russian sort of uh, theatre clown kind of thing, Derivo, right. the name of the group. And they did a, a, a sort of a version of Dante's Inferno, right? Oh, and, wow. and, you, and it was in a circus top. And where you sat, yeah. Dependent, you'd see a different show. Oh, you know, amazing. And, and, and they would come in and do stuff with people in the audience. And, and, I, and I went once and then I went again. And then I thought, this is never going to come to Britain again. Yeah. And it's the most amazing thing. And I kept sort of going because I couldn't stand the thought that it was going to be lost. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, yeah, completely. And I couldn't I, quite process it. I have very you know. much the same. Have you ever seen S- S- Slava Snow Show? Yeah. Um, well, he I've, trained Derevo. Yeah. He I mean, was their guru that trained them up. Yeah, it's so, just amazing. Yeah. I've, I've been to that five times now because it's that yeah. exact same thing of if I yeah. get a chance and it's over it's that fear particularly as last time I went he clearly has an understudy that's taking more of the lead because right. he's, getting older. he's getting older and it's that panic now of yeah. I love that show but there's no you, you've not got that option again yeah. so and it's even that if kind it is of, filmed it's not the same thing it's no, you know? not at all particularly with things like that I think yeah. I think that's a great thing as well that people don't understand and I'd love to see this at Derivo because Slava was the first guy that I learnt about what clowning is and, yeah. that, and how it was originally an art form that was on a par with poetry yeah, and theatre yeah, and everything yeah. else. It wasn't just for kids and yeah. getting as many people well, into cars as possible. Well, that's I know you have a similar thing, but it's like if you, if you can do something in a live show that will only happen that time, yeah, yeah. it's almost worth sabotaging it a bit and making it not quite as good as it might otherwise have been yeah. just to create something that is unique that to that moment. And I, I try and build these things in now. Uh, it's harder because I, I I'm normally writing half hours or two hour shows that have got some kind of narrative through line. And you you can't quite smash it to bits because yeah. you've got to get all the toys back in the box at yeah, the end. Yeah, you know? yeah, completely. But, but if you can make a thing happen, not not just some bit of banter going, "Hey, where are you from?" I remember when I had my first drink. But yeah. if you can make some <laughs> feeling happen or some thing that involved an individual and then you know just to remind people that live things are really live it's, and, it's, and you know i mean i went to i went to see the snowman at christmas with my kids weirdly yeah. which isn't a patch on slava snow show yeah, but yeah. um but it was all right but obviously when the snowman starts flying yeah that is really great yeah, you know, I'm yeah, really yeah, of course. <laughs> and the snowman flies up in the air and then some mum who'd been yakking all the way through behind me was full of horrible middle class parents yeah <laughs> she got a camera phone out and to film it, to film the flying snowman. Yeah. And then the security guard came and said, you can't film. And that, that was that was the big moment of that show. You know, that was the moment that it had built towards where all the little kids go, oh, he's flown. Yeah. And it was gone, right? Because I ended up being in the middle of this dispute. Just between, hearing this argument. Yeah, and like, what, why was she doing that? Like, why, why did she want to sort of do that at that moment? Why couldn't she... It's like we've got a culture of people to sort of see things through a little lens to realise that they're really happening and we've got to get back to this. The, the primacy of a live experience isn't yeah. the same as all that. This piece of fiction is the intro to the structure. This piece of fiction is the intro to the structure. This piece of fiction is the intro to the structure. 